So this is the bike I just bought. 2021 Electric Glide Standard. I was first looking at brand new ones and then I saw how expensive the hidden costs were. So uh, I started looking at new ones or used ones and I found this one at a BMW dealer. It was a trade-in. And uh, as soon as I saw all the performance parts on it, they just had it priced as a normal uh just a blue book value average retail they didn't realize all the parts that were on this bike they didn't care they just wanted to get rid of it so as soon as i saw it, i put a down payment on it financed it picked it up a week later so the first time i rode this thing i was just gonna ride it home right and uh it's winter here in connecticut it's freezing out right now so i ended up going for like a five hour ride um i can't even explain to you the quality of ride I had in Connecticut we have uh, lots of back roads twisty windy hilly back roads and I was on this fucking bike and I was cutting through the twisties like uh, a fucking banshee on crack I I can't I was hitting these turns faster than I ever have on a bike I never rode before I mean, I had confidence going into the turns. I had confidence going out of the turns. I was ripping it up. I just, I was freaking dumbfounded by uh, what was going on. So, um, I, I'm, I was so screwed up by this ride. I, I bought an 06 Street Clyde. That was my first FLH. Man, I've been riding FLHs ever since. That was uh, 16 years ago, right? I learned more in this ride than I have in 16 years. It totally screwed me up the way I think about things now. Um, so this has an Olin suspension on it. It came with it. Olin shocks on the back. Okay, I'm having phone problems, but Olin shocks on the back. I didn't even realize it at the time until I got home after that ride. It's got Owen Nick's inserts in the rear. Um, I think the suspension, I pr priced it out. It's a, a just under $1,700. Um, but I was, I was just, uh, I'm still, I'm still fucked up from it. I just, I can't freaking believe how important the suspension is. I've never done any suspension upgrades really. One time I had some progressive shocks and those things were complete junk. I used them to ride down to Florida for bike week. I'm in Connecticut here. It is winter time also. And uh, those things were junk. As soon as I got home from the ride, I sold them on Craigslist. But anyways, this is just, uh, I learned more on this ride than I have in 16 years just crazy crazy <coughs> crazy how important <coughs> excuse me how important the suspension is uh, these are fully adjustable the rear shocks are fully adjustable On the rebound also. So let's uh, look at this. Okay, so this is the baseline for the FLH M8 suspension. And this is the baseline for the M8 motor. And the M8 motor is above the suspension. The stock suspension, if you just ride on the weekends, just go for cruises, do the speed limit on the highway um, the stock suspension is probably fine for you but if you're riding on the weekend with your buddies and you're horsing around playing follow the leader getting into the twisty windy back roads and really getting on it the m8 motor already has enough power to exceed the limitations of the stock suspension so the whole idea is to uh, Increase, improve 
the suspension. Suspension upgrades first. Once you have exceeded, once you've gotten your suspension into a good place, uh, then the next thing is to improve the horsepower, the torque, the horsepower, the output. So hopefully the suspension and the motor are meeting in a good place. And at the same time, so this would be second horsepower. And at the same time, do uh, clutch springs and uh, brakes. Now, the uh, I have never done any improvements to the brakes, um, but I hear the Dyna Bros are running the ECB double centered brakes and they swear by them. And that brings up another great point, is the uh, Dyna Bros. Now the Dyna Bros um, are doing things with Dynas that are incredible. I think the, uh, the Sons of Anarchy started this with the Arlen Ness fairing, two into one exhaust, T-bar handlebars. And it almost was looking like a fad, but the Dyna Bros came in, and I don't know what these, these guys are like stunt riders, wheelies, smoke shows, skid steering, you know, these guys sort of took that look from Sons of Anarchy and have turned it into a performance machine. Between the brakes, the suspension, the handlebars, they've done so much stuff that have pushed the envelope. Dynas were like dying out. 10 years ago. I mean, there was even talks of Harley of discontinuing some of the Dynas because um, they were having production problems and sales problems. But this Dyna market has taken off. It has taken off and manufacturers are rushing to make performance parts quick enough because of this movement, the Dyna Bros. And it's freaking pretty cool. And the reason it's pretty cool is because the performance stuff that the Dyna Bros have incorporated Nobody ever thought of a Dyna as a performance machine, and these guys are pushing the limits on these machines, but that stuff is starting to trickle into the FLH market now, and it is freaking awesome to see these bikes, uh, to think of a FLH tur 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 changing into some type of performance machine is something like we've never seen. So hats off to the Dyna bros, but the whole idea is to get up here somewhere to like the sweet spot which is a level which is a platform i don't think that's ever been known to uh flh you know to the baggers before it's it's reaching a different level and uh i think it has changed the way i look at things i think the suspension is more important than the horsepower because after my ride i realize how bad the stock suspension is if you like to do what I would say more like performance riding where if you're a weekend rider you know you and your girlfriend get on a bike and you putz around go down to the beach or something you're not going to get much out of a performance suspension but could I have ever in the past thought about spending 1700 bucks on a suspension hell no could I spend 2500 bucks on pipes, air cleaner, Dyna tuner, um, you know, race tuner, all that stuff? Hell yeah, in a second. But now I realize how important the suspension is. So I'm starting here first from now on. And then later on, I will increase the horsepower to meet the suspension. And then work from there all right so this is the last uh analogy i will use here it's like uh riding driving a volkswagen a 78 volkswagen beetle for 16 years 
it, you know, it runs great, gets you from point A to point B, it's reliable, gets good gas mileage. And then one day you start driving in a brand new Corvette. That's what I'm talking about. That's how big an improvement it is. So uh, thanks for checking out the, uh, out the video. Uh, I appreciate it. All right, ride safe.